Hi, we're back again with more videos for the Media Center demonstration. We're going to go into the music section in a bit, but I just wanted to highlight one of the neat features of XBMC is the screensaver. Basically, we just have it run through all our movie posters and wallpaper and stuff, but it's a really cool feature. But we're going to hop into music. We don't use this for music much, um, apart from Christmas stuff, really. But it's still cool because you can run things like Sky.fm, Radio, SoundCloud, Digitally Imported, Pandora, and, you know, party mode where you can let people pick what music they want to play or insert an uh, iPod or a Zune or anything without being able to mess with the rest of the media center. And it really is quite neat. Um, if you've got all your stuff tagged right, it will show artist metadata and things like that, but, you know, for our obscure Christmas CDs, that doesn't really happen. So we're just going to stray away from that a bit. Uh, we'll show you how Pandora runs. Quite nice. Um, we rarely use Pandora. I'm pretty sure I've got my login saved. If not, who knows. Um, see, we can just pick a lot of stuff. And it runs quite nice. As you can tell, it works beautifully with the sound system. Oops. For some reason, I thought exiting to the main menu would keep Pandora running. I guess I was wrong. So let's try that again. Just doing above and beyond radio. Give you a good demo of how it works. Um, typically, it only pulls from Pandora stations you've added, which can be kind of an issue. Um, you have to maintain the list with your Pandora website online, but if you use one Pandora for everybody in the house, or if you set up profiles in XBMC, then it's really not that much of an issue. We're going to start a quick mix real quick to show you how that works too. It does some good stuff, pretty much. It's basic Pandora features. Yeah. See, some apps let you keep it running, some don't, which is kind of sad. Um, digitally imported. When it wants to load. Also, another benefit to having this as a media center is if you really want to use mouse and keyboard. Um, I'll be experimenting soon with the Leap Motion, if you guys have ever heard of that. I've got one pre-ordered. I'm going to try and use it as a touch sort of um, wireless interface instead of mouse keyboard, which would be really neat if I get that working. If I do, I'll be sure to let you guys know and show it. And an advantage of having a computer is you can basically play anything. I mean, this runs Flash, unlike uh, Apple TV or some other things that runs any file format you can think of. Um, and you're really not limited by anything. Only limits are how powerful the PC itself is, but it is much power more powerful than any media center you can buy on your own, pretty much. I'm sure you could build something better, but, you know. There we go. Play some drum and bass, because everyone loves drum and bass, right? No. But, XBMC also has a video section. We don't use that much, but if you're someone who loves Twitch.tv, um... Speed Demos Archive, Day 9, things like that. Oh, it doesn't want to work for us today. See, that's why we don't use the music. Music and videos are kind of hit and miss, but those are add-ons. Those aren't built into XBMC. So they don't uh, function as seamlessly or as well as TV shows and movies do. But I think that's a good sort of overview. Um, see, here's the video section got TED Talks, a lot of things. Here's weather. Weather's kind of hit and miss, but for the most part, it lets you know, you know, before you head out the door, what you're going to expect. Images, you could set it for comics or things like that. We usually don't, because like I said, this is mainly used as movies, TV, games, and um, the odd video stream or something like that, Pandora. But next time, we are going to go into the games, so stick around, and thanks for watching.